So welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and today I'm using Llewellyn's Classic Tarot by Barbara Moore. And I uh, did I say it's for Thursday, July 28th yet? <laughs> it is. And today we have the new moon in Leo coming in right before noon, like 11.55 a.m. Pacific Time. So plant those seeds of whatever you're trying to create. Get that going. It's maybe by the full moon in Aquarius sun um, coming in in August. I think I think it's August 11th. You might have what you're trying to manifest by then. Sometimes it can come that quickly if it's something you've been working on already for quite some time. Leo moons are so powerful, whether it's a new moon or full moon. So, what is it that we need to know? What can best support you for this day? There we go. So we have the Six of Swords. So, so a transition of some type. Moving to calmer waters, of course. It's often a travel card or an immigration card, too. Okay. Six of Swords along with the Nine of Swords. Okay, so this feels like a transition out of a, a nightmarish experience. could be a transition out of a headache. It could literally be the way to get out of this headache is to drink more water. It could be that, you know, because it's, it's been so hot. It's so hot everywhere, and that it, in the heat we need a lot more water. We really do. It's the only way to survive. And then we also have the fool. Yeah. I feel like the short message here, and of course I'll you know go into these cards a little deeper, but I feel like the short message could be for many of you that uh, getting enough water and hydration, even though maybe you're afraid it's going to keep you up at night, it's still worth it because uh, you need that. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to make it on a brand new, you know, adventure <laughs> every day. And just check out the bright sun up here with the Fool, all right? Uh, but the Fool is about uh, a new start. It has to do with, uh, it's usually like a new adventure type of a thing, but it's, it's basically following your heart following your spontaneous joy towards something greater. And with this weird combination here with the Nine of Swords, it just feels like there's a whole new life outside of this headache. There's a whole new life outside of this maybe going through a little bit of a depression. Now, please know that it's very, very normal to feel depressed when you're healing something from the past. And uh, like depression, we need to expect a little bit of depression during our healing process. That is part of the transitory you know, journey of every soul. And it leads to a whole new life. You know how it is. I know you guys have all been through this where you've gone through something really painful and you can't believe how awful it was and you're, you know, it was just really painful. And and then all of a sudden you're feeling, because you go through the pain and you process it through, then all of a sudden you're feeling so much more joy for life. And life is much brighter and you feel more alive and there is more available life force flowing through your body. And this was just something you had to go through, a little bit of the dark night of the soul or maybe this is, for some of you, the actual dark night of the soul. But know that the brand new life is coming through. Please know that. Because it always is. It always is. Yeah. Okay, well that's all I have for today. <laughs> Thanks you guys. Take good care. Bye.